hi guys and welcome today I'm showing you another custom build this is a custom watch based on the Seiko 6105 better known as the Captain Willard <music> So let's start with the dimensions. This watch has a diameter of 44 millimeters. A lug tip to tip of about 47 millimeters. A lug width of 20 millimeters. And a thickness of 14 millimeters. So this was a project of mine last year. It took quite a while to build. As you know, all parts are sourced online and are available for purchase by anyone. This watch is powered by the Seiko Instruments NH36, but the date wheel or rather the day wheel is covered by the dial. It has a solid case back with no markings. It's sterile and uh, I put on an aftermarket rubber strap which is which are quite stiff and as you can see I've worn this quite a bit so you can see quite a bit of um, dirt on it it has a four o'clock screw down crown which is unsigned but the knurling on the crown is quite nice it does have crown guards it has a 316L stainless steel case with uh, mirror polish sides and on the top you can see quite a bit of uh, circular brushing as you can see uh, right there by the crown the crown guards it has a uh, sapphire crystal and uh, the bezel has a coin edge so the action of the bezel it's is quite stiff it is a 120 click unidirectional dive time bezel and it doesn't have uh, a back play so it's um, it's quite secure and uh, Aside from the stiff action, it sounds quite nice. It has an aluminum bezel insert, reminiscent of the ISO divers that Seiko released. And that dial has the synthwave design, so it has a red sun and a darker darker wave and a black sky it has uh, applied indices with loom so rectangular on the 6 and 9 and circles on the others of course the 12 o'clock is different the handset is uh, reminiscent of the original 6105 that uh, Captain Willard wore in the movie Apocalypse Now second hand has a red dot so the crystal is a has a bit of dome to it and of course the sides show a bit of distortion it has a date window um, that's the only complication for this watch. The square window matches well with the square indices at 9 and 6, making the dial look more symmetrical. Here's the loom. As you can see, there's a loom pip on the dive time bezel. The wave is loomed as well, so this looks gorgeous in the dark but the loom is not quite as good 
so here's a wrist shot on my six and a quarter inch wrist it has uh, it looks um, smaller than its dimensions because of the cushion style case 20 millimeter uh, lug width you get a lot of strap options but the watch is quite thick at 14 millimeters and the lugs are not drilled which I wish they were but uh, unfortunately the supplier couldn't give me one that has drilled lugs has a black chapter ring with uh, marked indices seconds minutes and it has large markers every five minutes the dial is uh, the highlight of this watch and I think it's quite beautiful If you found this video enjoyable or helpful, I'd appreciate if you click the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, uh, leave a comment uh, what you think about this watch. Please subscribe to the channel for more contents like this one. I don't only feature watches on this channel, I feature a lot of stuff as well. So here it is, Captain Willard inspired build with the dark synthwave dial and I call this uh, Willard's Rage. And as always, enjoy!